So I got my pant legs taped up with packaging tape and got my belt on. And hopefully I don't hit any ground nests. We're taking the little wonder out today. And I rented this from a local rental company. I've also got my helmet with uh, ear protection, face protection, and my gloves. So we've got a Honda GXV 390 overhead valve. Um, to start it, we'll put it in the turtle position. Right there. Pull the choke out every time, even if it's warm. And then just crank this over. So far I've cleared a lot of this out on the side. I think I'm going to do a little bit more. Uh, the next stretch is down this part. I'm going to take a lot of that back and open it up as best as I can. We'll do a before and after. Here's our after shot. Um, I still have a little bit more to push back and then we'll go back to the uh, final part of the job. Uh, so what I, last time I shut it off like I just put it right on stop and then I had a little hard time Starting it up, but I didn't need to use the choke it flooded out So when I turned it off this time, I just slowly brought it down to stop So really what I'm doing out here is just getting back to the old landscaping that used to be here. It's so overgrown um, Got a lot of yucca plants like all up and down the drive the old drive um I was hogging it back, you know. And I made a cool little trail right here. Uh, went into this part. It's, there's a little foundation back here. It's like a grove of uh, is it sassafras and uh, and myrtle. There's an old foundation back there, so. This is all their property. These are huge rhododendrons back in here. Um, 
so that's enough goofing around with the trail. The real deal is to open up this big area um, for just, yeah, just getting it all back to normal like these little islands. All this shrub or scrub all along that. We've got rhododendrons with plants growing, little trees growing in front of them. Um, all of that's got to be cleared. And all of this, there's those berries. Um, try to, they'll come back. Um, they've been mismanaged for many years, so I'm going to clear this whole area out. And we have a picnic table. The mushrooms went crazy right here. Um, and uh, we've got electric service. So it's a great place for a camper. And we got one feather. It seems early for this, but we have one set of Indian pipe. So I cleared everything that I wanted to clear and I saved this last section over here because I was worried there was a ground nest. Sure enough, it's over there somewhere. I only have one strip or two, two or three strips left on that. And that little uh, yellow jacket was poking me in the back of my neck and I jumped in my car, which was right here, and uh, took off and I drove just a little ways back to the main drive and got out and that thing was still after me uh, so I went all the way just to my house and or my home and um, got inside and it was gone so it's been about an hour I'm gonna get this thing loaded up and we're done with this project till fall